part of me wanting to set a different tone in the House. That's why I chose four Republicans, uh, four, uh, four Democrats. Speaker-elect Jeff Hoover says the bipartisan makeup of his transition team is a sign of things to come. Uh, because I have said many times, just because you're in the minority doesn't mean you don't have good ideas or can't, can't contribute. Uh, I believe very strongly that you can have good ideas and you can contribute. Hoover also vowed to have committee makeups proportional to the Republican-Democrat ratio. That's 64 to 36 in the House now. But he stopped short of saying the new minority would get more bills heard or voted on than in the past. Well, that's something that we'll work with each minority member on, uh, as well as the committee chair and our leadership team. Uh, you know, we're not going to give a hearing to every bill. You cannot do that. Democrat Bobby Richardson, a former House Speaker, says he was honored to serve on the transition team. I think that uh, Speaker Hoover's idea of including uh, both parties bodes well for uh, the Commonwealth. Representative Jeff Donahue, a Democrat and chair of the Louisville caucus, also welcomed Hoover's approach. Well, it's all about what we can do for the state of Kentucky. Uh, sometimes, you know, national politics is, overflows into what we do in Kentucky. Uh, we have no control over that, but we do have a control over what we try to do in the state of Kentucky. We want to move Kentucky forward. But Donahue also said he will remain vigilant. The thing about it is, is that let's see what happens and, and hold people accountable what they do, as I expect them to hold me accountable. Now, Democrats will be electing their new leadership in mid-December at their next caucus meeting. A few names being tossed around for new leadership include Don Hugh, who you just saw, as well as outgoing Majority Leader Rocky Adkins and Jody Richards, who was Speaker of the House from 1995 until 2009. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News. Thanks.